Sri Lanka is an ancient island where elephants have roamed for over 300,000 years. Today we have the highest density in Asia and the Sri Lankan elephant has evolved into a subspecies identified as Elephus maximus maximus. They built our ancient cities. Me as an archaeologist, I can say that with some authority. Some of those stones could not have been moved without elephants. Some of them could not have been erected and put in place without elephants. And some of those massive tank ones couldn't have been completed in the time they were completed without the help of elephants. An elephant is a keystone species. The elephant has a huge impact on the ecosystem that the elephant lives in. Sri Lanka also has the highest level of human-elephant conflict in the world. Certainly, the total number of elephants are decreasing, but the number of elephants that cause human-elephant conflict incidents is increasing. Human-elephant conflict is a human-created problem, not an elephant-created one. That is because most of our human-elephant conflict mitigation methods are confrontation, and that leads to more aggression of elephants towards people. Recently that yeah, the, uh, collided with the bus, the young baby died. Mother was there. Unfortunately, that incident of shooting and that mother died. This herd we have been following for a little while. Um, seems to be trying to cross the road, but they're having great difficulty doing it because of the number of cars that are driving past, some quite fast. Now I appoint a senior committee. Submit me what the reasons and causes. We have to implement the law. Then our people are the best people to obey the law. Otherwise, no law and all. This particular elephant has actually got hit by a car while crossing the road and his leg seems to have broken. The wildlife department just came to give it an injection of uh, antibiotics to try and help it heal. My officers, I must tell you, their salaries are not enough. 24 hours they are working. But our officers, we are shortage, they are working non stop. Even the veteran surgeons, like that. I, I need about at least 4,000 workers now. Wildlife department is not settling people, it's not putting up factories, it's not building roads. It's all these other ministries, so they create problems that they expect this poor government department, poor in every sense of the word, to solve it. And we humans claim that we are the most evolved species. Then we plan some stupid project and then we expect the elephants to work around us. The biggest problem that we have today is not the community. The biggest problem we have today is the politicians and the development planners who don't relate to elephants, who don't understand elephants and they think development is the key. And it is they who sometimes say that there are too many elephants in this country. The question too many actually doesn't, is not a meaningful question. What do you mean by that? Udavalave National Park was once a sanctuary for wild elephants. Yet today, most mothers and babies are trapped in by fencing and starving to death. Agricultural cattle have encroached on this protected area as offending farmers are protected by local politicians who pressure national politics. Yeah, the cattle eat, you know, they eat the whole thing. So the grass will come. So we have to again then to regenerate and bring it, remove the cattle. We are gradually taking them out. We will do that. We are now uprooting the unwanted species, all those plants also. And then planting grass and nature will come up. We are uh, giving elephants in the wild a low value and that is why we think that we, they are better off captured and used for our purposes, whether it's paraharas or whether it's as a traction animal or as a tourist attraction. We have to understand the culture, religion. In Joseph we were says, get rid of uh, using elephants, you can't. If you are going to use an elephant, in a Buddhist uh, or a religious procession, then you should be much more, you must be taking much more care to make sure that the elephant is taken care of compassionately. 
and that elephant's welfare is looked after. Magging will be punchy. Now, my dear, Parisar will take another one. Ham through only me. At that, the Peter the jacket, my photo of the jacket make that. That jacket no more. Here, what my meter the jacket is really like. My look meter that. That is what my jacket is like. That is what my that is that. That is current that is that. Me battery all that. Samara kila that me light leak kila me current that body no more kila kya no. Is that that? That is evil that is a cool up boy no. Have a yar Hindu that buy ya. This is the only what we do not use any. याते आनंद तीनों पारसी माव काकुल त्याग न बैस हमारे कलर पैर है रहता है भाई मी का दाकी न अभी हमों में सद्धा हुई दाकी न हो जाए वाला सद्धा हुई दाकी न हो देगा वाला बहुत दे हो इतना बुद्ध जानो हाँ से के दर्शनी सब बे तदांती दंडा से सब बे बायांती माचुनो अत्ता नंग पमंकत्ता नहीं � तो मी करो कोई तो बुद्धि आगे मी डा। But you can, you can harming harassment of elements has to get rid of. I strongly believe in that. I am there. The largest captive elephant facility in Sri Lanka is the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage, managed by the notorious Department of Zoological Gardens. Often the elephants were coming into the position of the wildlife department and they didn't really know what to do with them, so they. Transferred them to the zoo department, who started an elephant orphanage to release them back into the wild. Now that never happened, so they perverted the initial objectives of the Pinnavala elephant orphanage. अदर बहुत तरह लांकी का अद्गो हल्पना कराने अताव में अली पिहिएंग हा अली एक अली एक आइने तीन तिहिएंग हा हिंदू एंड तमाय नडतुका नियाल बालाने के टा होंदा मुदार ने तमाय अली की पद ने एक टा में वागे पिन्नवल इन नालीं टा था निकल लेती हूँ ना। What we do in Sri Lanka is known as dominance based training. To do what you wanted to do through coercive means. You mentally break it down. Yeah, means physical punishment. Yes, if it takes physical punishment, yes, and the type of physical punishment there are many. Wherever the bull hook is used, it's probably very painful, and it's a reminder to the elephant of who is the boss and what the elephant needs to do and what the elephant can't do. Also, this idea of the elephant being thick skin. If the elephant is really that thick skin, why does the elephant coat itself with mud to prevent insects from biting it? They may have a thick skin, yes. but maybe it's a very sensitive, sensitive skin. Sensitive skin. Yeah. Yeah. So, pain comes from yeah. sensitivity. We know the elephant suffering. They hate that mouth that they kill. That is why I say, born free, chain free. You need a paradigm shift in the way the mahout thinks. Ignorant tourists who think it's a wonderful idea and we are doing a wonderful job, but knowledgeable people with any kind of knowledge base about how animals are kept, how animals are looked after, or what a wild animal is and what a domestic animal is, are actually appalled by the way we run in the weather. Following allegations made by LT Pro last year, the government appointed a committee to investigate the zoo department. The committee submitted this report to the government in October 2016. Its findings include animal welfare issues, numerous violations of procurement guidelines, violation of cabinet memorandum relating to tender processes, non-declaration of funds to treasury, illegal gifting of elephants, including to a Chinese commercial conglomerate, repeated exchange of birds with an unregistered Hambantara bird park, haphazard translocation of captive animals, confirmation of serious allegations of entry ticket fraud at Pinnavilla, most alarming is the revelation on page 19 that some Pinnavela elephants and mahouts tested positive for tuberculosis. To quote the investigating committee, despite being a dangerous zoonotic situation, the human-elephant interaction continues. Action has yet to be taken. But since the money keeps coming in from somewhere, we are quite happy doing it. Adding to the fraud are media reports accusing Pinnavilla of selling elephants in its custody. This is possible because the zoo department still refused to submit an accurate record of births and deaths. Neither a proper inventory on stock of animals nor a proper mechanism to identify animals at any zoo managed facility, notes the committee report. All born immediately inform us. Then put a tag like that and register them all. We'll work out as what you are saying. Yeah. Trading elephants is illegal in Sri Lanka, yet in recent times a politically protected elite began to keep elephants as pets in their gardens and their estates. 
No, I think it's just politically driven. It's just the demand from people who are connected to politicians asking for elephants to feed their ego so that they can say, I have an elephant. Meerate samaharak hamu palantiye vikshun nahanse lai. Hamu adi, ekene hamu ke la kene walau ya iti karya. Unnahanse la tamai desha palak nienge desha pal na disana di tindu kaya. I think we are at crossroads. There's no, no going on like this in business as usual. In April 2017, a cabinet note from the Ministry of Wildlife notified the government of Sri Lanka that Pinnavela Elephant Orphanage had exceeded its carrying capacity. It recommends the indefinite lease of baby elephants from Pinnavela to private individuals for a cash bond of 10 million rupees. <laughs>